I just want to set the world on fire. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am new for prayers and this is Fallout 4 Weapon Crafting with Mods. Now today's weapon is the Syringer Rifle and before I start I have to say that this weapon is an absolute pain in the ass to modify. Every time you attempt to modify it, it tends to break in some way. So these designs are going to be very basic, not really changing what the weapon does except the one. The one design does change the weapon completely. Anyway, I hope you like the designs and I'm going to get on with the video. The first weapon today is the Pipe Syringer. I thought I'd start simple as the basic weapon design is already similar to a pipe design. So I changed the barrel to a pipe gun barrel and the stock to the pipe pistol grip. Now the weapon is still held like a rifle in first person despite having a pistol grip. And the weapon still functions correctly in third person. However, whenever you use it in VATS and whenever you use it in third person, when you fire off one shot, your character goes into a static animation. And the only way to fix this is to go back into first person and to come back out again. So I suggest that if you're going to make this weapon, only use it in first person. However, I didn't actually try the pipe rifle stock, so that may have better luck. The next weapon is the Syringer Sniper. The Syringer Sniper was my attempt to turn the weapon into a hunting rifle style. I used the laser musket stock and a hunting rifle barrel along with a pipe rifle scope. However the problem was I found that it didn't work at all in VATS or in third person and it only works in first person. I think the only way you can actually get a weapon to work in third person and in VATS correctly is if you use a Syringer stock instead of any other one. So functionality wise this weapon ends up being just like a standard Syringer but with the disadvantages of not being able to use a VATS or third person. So I wouldn't really recommend making this design. The next design is the Syringer pistol. I wanted to improve upon the pipe design by providing it with a laser pistol grip in the hope that it would function completely as a pistol. I had to use a stub barrel as whenever you use the pistol grip from the laser pistol it causes the barrel itself to appear behind the gun. So I had to have an invisible barrel. However when it came to actually using the weapon in combat it still had the exact same issues with the static animation as the pipe pistol did, but it did actually hold the weapon like a pistol in first person view. Functionality wise though, the weapon still works in the same way as a syringer, only holding it like a pistol, I don't know but it may actually use pistol perks instead of rifle perks, but I don't know that for sure. This weapon is the Combat Syringer. The Combat Syringer was my attempt to turn the Syringer into a combat style rifle rather than a hunting style rifle or pipe style rifle. So this time I actually decided to add a bayonet to the gun as well as using the shotgun stock and the shotgun barrel. This weapon again does not work in third person and does not work in VATS but with the addition of a bayonet means that the gun actually has extra melee capability allowing you to use it in close combat. Functionality wise it is still a Syringer rifle, just a different appearance from what it was. Again though this is a weapon that I wouldn't recommend trying to make or at least using a Syringer stock if you are going to make one like it. The next weapon is the Auto Syringer, any mod any weapon version. 
Now the reason it's the Anymod Any Weapon version is because all I have used to turn it into an automatic fire weapon is the laser automatic barrel. And that is all you need to change for this weapon. By doing so it will stay working in third person and in VATS. However, with this video clip I was using a shotgun stock so at the time it did not work that way. There are two things to note about this weapon though. The first is that when you use aiming down the sights it gets stuck in a firing animation and will keep shooting. And the second is it will not actually use up any of your ammo. So if you put in 150 syringes, once you use them up you can still reload it with the 150 syringes that you used originally. So technically you have infinite ammo with the weapon. This next weapon is the same as the last weapon but is using the WMX mod instead of the any mod any weapon. What I did with this weapon was I used the WMX mod conversion to convert it to automatic fire mode. By using the WMX mod you can actually keep the rifle looking like the original. However I changed the design a little bit just to suit these videos. This weapon still has the same issues as the other one. So it still has infinite ammo and whenever you use it in VATS it will become a single shot weapon instead of automatic fire. The final syringe weapon today is the electric gun. I used the WMX mod to convert the projectile into a Tesla projectile rather than using syringes. It still uses syringe ammo but now it shoots a different projectile so I'm unsure if it actually uses the same effects as whatever syringe you put into it but I don't think it does. Also it becomes automatic fire like the automatic syringes. The version I made didn't work in VATS or in third person because I didn't have a syringe stop so I'm unsure if it will work in VATS as an automatic weapon but I do doubt it. I also decided to try this design on the syringe because when it uses automatic fire it actually kind of sounds like a static charge being discharged so I thought it would kind of suit the weapon and the design that I was using. So I was actually quite happy with this design and if I tweaked it I probably could make it even better. By the time I finished modding the syringe I got very fed up and I got very annoyed because of all the designs breaking. And I would recently got my hands on the fat lady mod thanks to a suggestion in the comments. So by this point I thought oh, I'll look at the fat lady instead which sounds really wrong but I'm going to do it anyway. Now the fat lady mod is a fat man which has been made more powerful and you build it at the chemistry workstation. You can also build the ex-wife ammo that you need at the workstation as well. So me being unhappy with the three or four locations that I kept visiting and dying at repeatedly because of the syringe not functioning properly, I thought the one ex-wife was not enough. So I decided to come up with this new weapon. I call it the buffet line. The buffet line is a never ending fat lady so it is basically a fat lady that you never need to reload and you can keep shooting over and over again as long as you have the ammunition. So I decided to go to the area and I decided to just shoot loads of ex-wives everywhere and kill everything and everyone around me and possibly kill myself which I did but I don't think it's in this video just so that I could have a final smile on my face. And I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the designs. Let me know in the comments what weapon you'd like me to work on next and I'll see what I can do. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.